Hey air signs, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with another video. Yeah, I know I got my little, <laughs> my lumberjack on, but hey, it is what it is. I love this little shirt. I'll be wearing it around the house and everything. <laughs> Uh, but that's not why you're here, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. It is your day. It is your time for your reading. Make sure you check the description box down below, okay, for um, links to a free Western and Vedic astrology birth chart um, so you can know your sun, moon, and rising, and nodes and planetary placements so you can know... Um, what, so you can watch those zodiacs and get a full picture of what's going on if you joined me on big o live last night gratitude for sharing your energies with me again i did a couple more free readings down there um you know i love using my gift so whenever i can i can <laughs> but no we had a lot of fun over there um spirit play all day spirit was being a little a funny one last night <laughs> but that's the beauty of it all it's all about love and happiness and fun and joy and and all of that goodness so right now i'm going to use the queen of the moon oracles for you because we have a celestial event coming up tonight tonight is the uh is the uh super moon full moon flower moon blood moon lunar eclipse <laughs> And uh, we have Mercury retrograde coming up in a few days. So we've got a lot of events going on. So I'm using this. Hopefully you guys do your full moon rituals of releasing. Full moons are about releasing. Um, if you don't know what to do or if you have something that you need to release or want to release and um, you need advice on where to start first, DM me. Either uh, inbox me on Facebook or DM me um DM me on Instagram or, you know, you know, write a comment here. I'll, I'll reply. All right. A Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I wanted to say Aries. I don't know why I wanted to say Aries, but y'all know when that happens, it usually pops up somewhere. All righty. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Void. Self-love and peace. Okay. Look at these. They're so pretty. The void. Okay. Then we have self-love. Yes. Self-love should always be first. You got to love self before you can give love to anybody else. And I'm looking at that number six on the top, which is like harmony, cooperation, healing. So healing, self-love after a heartbreak, healing after a heartbreak. Okay. Peace. This low key looks like the uh, seven of wands in uh, the light seers deck where she's sitting there. And she has like that bubble of protection around her. Um, and she's literally has her eyes closed, almost in the same uh, pose with the, with everything coming to her, everything that's coming at her. She's in peace. Okay. So we're going to clarify and see what those are all about. And move these up out the way. Okay, let's start with these cards. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have Eight of Cups, Pisces energy, Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Can I get some more out here for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, please? More for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, gratitude. Two of Wands is Aries energy. See, I'll be telling y'all, and 424 was just on a timer when I said that. <laughs> I can't make this up. Ten of Swords is Gemini. Okay. Mm. Okay, Air Signs, you guys are... You know, finding a better path, walking away from things, people, and situations that no longer serve you. 
you finally decided to make that decision. Um, what I'm seeing here with this Two of Wands, with the Ten of Swords and Five of Swords both being here at the same time, somebody was really, really, really doing a number on you. And it, and it was uh, so much so to the point where you hit rock bottom and you ended up checking out emotionally. Eight of Swords. Now with the Eight of Swords, the person is uh, tied up, um, you know, usually able to get out on their own, um, tied up under their own, you know, circumstances. They did that to themselves. They're standing in a puddle that is shallow water. So that is almost like shallow emotions type of thing. Like this person may have been shallow, shallow, like caught up in themselves, wrapped up in themselves, that type of deal. Um, and um, like I said, shallow with emotions. So emotionally, you checked out once you hit rock bottom that, you know, in this relationship, this person could have been cold with the mouth. Um, We got Ten of Cups, which, it, well, Eight of Swords is like, I think I said that, Gemini energy. Ten of Cups is Pisces. Eight of Wands is Sagittarius. And Queen of Cups is Cancer energy. Okay, so you or this person could have, um, I'm seeing air, fire, and, and um, water out here. Yeah, you decided to go on and make yourself happy. Self-love. Queen of Cups is out here and the Eight of Wands is movement away. OK, we have three eights out here, three eights out here. OK, that is divine. That is mind, body, spirit. OK, someone made the decision to get their, you know, Ten of Cups is also about like ultimate. Um, it's the ultimate happiness and abundance and stuff like that and wish fulfillment. But it also talks about um being very healthy so you're making very uh healthy decisions mind body and spirit decisions okay you may be um exercising more walking more reading more just doing whatever you need to do to um to for for self-love to facilitate self-love to facilitate the peace in your life okay um they keep telling me to look and, and read to y'all what it says about the dark moon on the book so i'm gonna i'll do it The dark moon is number one. It is the first one in the book. We know number one with numerology means new beginnings, opportunities, and potential. Okay. So I'll hold this right here so you can see while I'm reading it. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the first paragraph. Your time to rest and reset is here. Release all that does not serve you. Stop resisting. The void is a time of possibility, not just darkness. There's nothing to fear in letting go of negative patterns and habits. So let go of the old. And I'm feeling like that is talking about um, what we need to do with this uh, full moon, with this uh, lunar eclipse that we're going to have going on tonight. You know, it is, you know, moon moon times are a lot of times, you know, good times to do rituals, uh, releasing rituals, cleansing rituals, letting go, like I said, of things that no longer serve you, what I was talking about with this card. Um, so like I said, if you guys need to know anything of what I do to release things that no longer serve me, you know, just because I'm spiritual doesn't mean that I don't do that. I definitely, definitely always need you know, to, to stay clean, to stay pure, to, to have the, uh, you know, to, to stay at peace. You know, my, my peace is important to me. My peace is part of my abundance. Okay. Okay. And bottom of the deck, we have seven of cups energy. That is a uh, Scorpio. All right. And seven of cups is about, you know, um, making decisions, making informed decision, you know, uh, being a little um, confused, maybe um, by those decisions, you know, about what decision to make. But like I said, with the two of wands, I feel like you go ahead and make the decision to move forward with your life um, and take action towards self-love and fulfillment. All right. So let's clarify with these cards right here. Clarify the eight of cups for air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Clarify the eight of cups. Gratitude. Now, remember, these are, this is a general reading of um, a large percentage of the air signs that is going through this right now. So if this doesn't resonate with you, like I said, watch your moon and rising sign. And um, this could also be, since it is general, this could be past, present, near future. You could have already gone through this. You could be going through this right now. Or you could be on your path to this and needing um, 
you know, messages or assistance or guidance or, or what have you, which is why you're here. But at any rate, do not force fit a story that is not yours. If if I'm saying something and the pronouns are switched and it's resonating with you and you're like, you know, yeah, you know, but it's not about love. This is about a family. Then, you know, you know your story. This is just general. OK, I make sure I say that and I make sure I use I don't usually say this, but I'm going to say it now. But, uh, you know. This is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Please do not take what I say in the place of a legal, medical, or any other professional, okay? Some people I have to say that. Okay, so Eight of Cups clarified by the sun. Sun is the happiest card in the deck. I saw that on the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling and I was gonna say something about it and I didn't say anything, but it popped on out anyway. So like I said, you you found the path of um, a happier, better, brighter path was illuminated to you. Uh, the sun is Leo energy, like I said, and um, you know, you, like I said, emotionally checked out and you went down that path. You walked away from what did not serve you, from whoever this shallow person, um, you know, emotionless, cold person, situation, whatever, you know, the void person you, you may have felt left out in the, in the void. But like, like it said in the book, that is a time of healing. It's a time of releasing. So, you know, you release those hurt, you release those pain tens. We have two tens out here. So tens are about, um, you know, end of cycles, completions, renewal, recharging yourself. You know, she's going from 10 of swords to 10 of cups, rock bottom to completely healed. Queen of cups is 100% intuitive. She knew that she had to do this. And the eight of cups has that, uh, has that moon on it. So like I said, she intuitively, she knew that she had to do this. Five of swords clarified by the king of swords. This person was very cold, very cold in their demeanor and how they spoke with you. Like I said, this could be a partner. This could be a parent. This could be a boss. This could be anybody, but whoever this person was, they were not a nice person to you. And they also, um, were petty with five of swords uh talk shit about you word witched you know word witching is when people talking about you but not talking to you oh you catch karma for that too just in case you didn't know <laughs> so you uh leaving away from this person was the best thing that you could do for yourself because you don't want to be around when they catching their karma anybody that's around that person or um dealing with that person psh, Come out like that too. The lovers came out reverse, clarifying the two of wands. The lovers is Gemini energy, but like I said, King of Swords with the word witching, and anybody that he is bringing in on the word with he or she is bringing in on the word witching, they're all going to catch karma behind it. Especially if you are um, an empath, a light worker, and you're just trying to do good and better yourself. But I'm feeling like this situation, look at this, King of Swords, this situation um, facilitated your healing, okay? Um, Queen of Swords clarifying the Ten of Swords. So it's like once, it's almost like an eye for an eye type of deal, okay? Um, you know, King and Queen, they were a couple, but very cold towards one another. Very cold towards one another. There probably were a lot of fights with this five of swords here. A lot of verbal, verbal this going on. A lot of being stuck up in the head and locked up in the head and mental prison and things like that. And just, you know, like I said, emotionally checked out, just done, tired of being hurt with the swords, with the words, you know, words, um, thoughts are words before they come out. Um, but you see, because of this 10 of swords situation, because of hitting rock bottom, because of being hurt so much, um, this queen of swords locked her heart away locked her love her cup of love away queen, queen of swords is virgo libra energy um locked her locked this away um you know may have even locked themselves away but locked locked uh, definitely locked away that heart um and went internal and was like i i can't i'm not doing this anymore like literally emotionally checked out the, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords aren't even looking at each other the way that they're positioned in here. They're positioned like this. He's looking one way and she's got her back to him looking the other way. Okay. Verbally, it just is it's not there. Okay. The lovers is reversed. So it's like, um, you know, you two want 
to be together you guys may have been together for a long time other people may have thought you, you were like the perfect couple and things like that but um or this was the perfect situation for you but you know it hasn't been look at eight of swords clarified by the three of swords like i said this person is very shallow shallow person three of swords is like hurt pain hurt hurting somebody's heart so i don't blame you for checking out emotionally you know and leaving and finding something that better serves you finding going towards your happiness your son your ten of cups your queen of cups okay queen of cups wants to find her king of cups you don't want to be queen of swords anymore you don't want to be cold-hearted and you know just not loving at all that's why i feel like the lovers is here re reversed you know you chose self-love over whatever this was that was with this king of swords or queen of swords okay over this pain the three of swords could be here because of third parties um any of that you know in third parties like i said um on the live last night doesn't necessarily have to be cheating a third party could be bringing people in on your um there's a lot of swords out here okay so it could be a lot of chatter You're just bringing other people in on your business talking to other people about your stuff that could be third party too you know but either way it was a lot of not so nice things that were said the love is not there the love is gone that's why the lovers is reversed it's just you know the decision had to be made an intuitive informed decision had to be made the queen of swords is very intelligent okay ten of cups yeah and i talked about how tens were endings of cycles and renewals and stuff like that clarified by the wheel so the wheel of fortune and eight of wands oh i'll leave it i'm sorry eight of wands clarified by the temperance in reverse temperance is about slowing down sometimes temperance talks about like slowing down your money your abundance um or just taking the time out to slow down and heal but with this temperance here in reverse it's like no leave fast go get gone okay divine intervention you gotta go you gotta get up out of here there is some sort of alchemy that is going on in the background look at the He's got the alchemy. He's got the divine feminine in one hand with the moon and divine masculine in the other hand with the sun. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm putting something together way better for you. You've got to go. Eight of wands. you got to leave that situation. The wheel of fortune. Look, that's three tens out here now. We got three eights and three tens. Mind, body, spirit. The wheel of fortune is ten. Is the ten major, tenth major um, arcana. And the Wheel of Fortune is about karmic wheel. Like I said, this person is going to catch their... I said that earlier. Spirit, gratitude for uh, confirmation. This person is going to catch their karma for what they did to you. All the pain, all the hurt, everything. Okay? You just focus on self-love and healing. And the divine will intervene and push you right on along because we know the eight of wands is like fast movement forward uh fast messages coming in you know messages from the divine coming in spirit um god what have you okay yeah queen of cups she does not want to fight anymore with this five of wands energy she does not want to fight anymore she doesn't want the petty battles none of the petty arguments she is out of there okay she's learning to love self and not fight the feeling of loving self okay um and then we have ten of pentacles right here on the bottom of the deck all four tens are out here we have ten of swords ten of cups oh no we don't have the ten of wands but we do have uh, we have three four tens out here ten of swords ten of cups ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune so this is um karma all the way i'm feeling like even if you did go through this situation it was karma for yourself and not in a bad way but it was like um you were supposed to go through this so you could learn about these situations so you could grow from these situations so you could understand about self-love um like i said i pointed out the number six on the top of this card uh, of the self-love card before that's about having harmony cooperating with yourself healing that's what the number six mean healing okay and on this card, on the peace card, because we had the number one, new beginnings, we had six, healing, harmony, cooperation with oneself, with self-love. Um, and then on this card is 28. And in numerology, you know, we put that together. That's 10, another 10. Like, how many times do they have to tell you that this cycle is over, it's complete, it's done. You are now going to be moving forward towards your 10 of pentacles. Um, 10 of pentacles is Virgo energy, you know, and that is just you know ultimate happiness family like 
the sun ultimate happiness like you're you're just done with this tumultuous cycle i'm feeling like but don't fight it okay let the divine intervene let them do what they do okay and um you know the 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 choice will be made easy for you let's see what's under here six of swords yeah let the divine lead you out of this situation into calmer waters okay oh look i talked about this earlier and right up under the um six of swords which is uh, Aquarius energy. We have the Queen of Wands, very intuitive, like taking action, you know, going towards what, what she wants, what she needs. And I talked about this earlier. Didn't I say about the Seven of Wands earlier? Hmm. <laughs> I said uh, this was giving me Seven of Wands energy, but it was Seven of Wands energy from my other deck, from my Light Seers deck. But yeah, uh, they feel like the Divine wants you to know that you are protected. Look, we got the, the, um, chariot right there that you are protected against this toxic energy you know make moves make moves go look at this again chariot energy six of swords energy i don't make this up the divine is telling you just just let us take control you move the wheel with how you vibrate if you're vibrating high we're gonna move you up and out of there if you vibrating low and you still staying low, you're going to stagnate your movement. You're going to stagnate your growth. You're going to stagnate your energy. And we're just going to chill here until you're ready to move. They, they, they drive in the car. They got the wheel, the wheel of fortune. You control the direction that it goes with your vibrations, okay? Three of cups right here. Healing, reconciliation, reconciling with yourself, healing, putting yourself back together again. And then we got ten of cups right under that. Ultimate happiness, <laughs> again, with the wheel of fortune. Ten of Cups right here and then Two of Wands right under that. Like how many times do they have to tell y'all the same thing over and over again? You're going to make this the right decision. Knight of Pentacles right up under that. You know, you're doing it slowly. You're making slow progress, but slow and steady wins the race. Work on yourself. You can't go. You can't skip steps in this self-love, healing, you know, things like that. You can't skip steps. So, you know, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. You're getting your stability together. You're getting your health together. You're getting your finances together. I see Six of Pentacles right here, equal give and take. Four of Swords is um, healing after heartbreak. It comes right after Three of Swords. So, you know, you guys get the theme of, of what they're trying to tell you. They're trying to tell you guys, you know, self-love, heal. We know this situation was not what you thought it, sh you know, you wanted it to be. Um, you thought it was the perfect match, the perfect couple, the lovers, but it really wasn't. Learn your lesson. Take that lesson with you. Move forward, but don't sit in that energy. You get what I'm saying? Release it. 2232 was just on the screen when I said that. All right. All right, guys. So if nobody has told you today, I'm going to tell you I love you. And make sure you catch me tonight on Big O Live. I will be live doing um, some more readings for free. Um, 11, 11 p.m. Eastern time. And um, check out my Instagram. Like I said, all the links are down there. So, um, like I said, if nobody has told you today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. Peace.